What is up everybody and welcome to a brand new vlog straight out of Russia and today is Pichenka's last day when he has to take his medicine so we're gonna give him the last part of his medicine and then he's a healthy cat once again without the need of taking any medicine and I'm very happy for him anyways let's do that real quick and then go get some food because we have absolutely no food in the house it's already late you know what it's actually not that late you know I was working on the computer editing videos and stuff like that it is three o'clock right now right it's already flipping getting dark outside and this weather is just not making anything good i think we should arrange an adventure to another city town country soon enough so that we could have a awesome adventure with some um just awesome things to do anyways but right now we need to go over to get some food, then we need to go to Food City, the place where you could get whatever you need, whatever you want. And then I have no idea what we're gonna be doing. Anyways, guys, let's get the day started then, right? Well, we have arrived to Terminal Food Hall to have a bit of food. I'm gonna be eating right there in the Fobo place. I'm gonna have a Tom Yam, as funny as it sounds like. Evelina is deciding though. This is our breakfast at 4 p.m. So guys, got myself a tom yam, got some rice. This tom yam is so good. If you're ever in Terminal Food Hall, 100% like really good tom yam. Now I gotta collect Evelina's food from the Italian place in the food court. So we're spying on Pichenka right now with the camera right here. Lotus is chilling. Is he gonna look up if I move the camera? Yes, he is. Look at him. Look at him, he looks like a cat out of a horror movie. The weather is so bad outside that we are going to a shopping mall right now to do something. We need to get some food for the house and also we're gonna get, we're gonna check something out. I have no idea guys, like literally, I have no idea because it's raining, it's not even snowing, it's this moment between before winter it's really bad now if it was snowing it'd be way better loads of activities to do well there's literally nothing to do in this place i have no idea i think we're a bit depressed and we need to change to where we are what's going on here anyways you could i don't know this is a shopping place where you buy groceries and car stuff and this is what's gonna be needed for a lot of people some de-icer for lux one dollar very nice or actually no it's less now isn't it ruble has gone down oh look at this look at this you can make your car smell nice you want to have a ladder and you want it to smell like a rolls royce you better get this very nice you you could see the stuff is being sold already you know to clean your car from snow all this stuff Evelina has found some socks Russian sock collection very nice well guys got some antifreeze for the Mlada because right here in a uh, grocery shop you could buy some oils and stuff like that for the car so need to add a bit of antifreeze to the Mlada so the levels are gonna be good anyways now I'm gonna get myself some drinks now guys who wants a bit of Stolichnia vodka or something like that i don't know you tell me look at the varieties of vodka this is a never-ending thing you guys probably know beluga never ending and a bunch of dobry cola this is where i should have got my colas from look at the jumbo cola you guys remember that nothing better than a bit of jumbo cola oh yes here we are boys here we are we found what we need a bit of dr pepper where is this from where was it imported from? Poland. It literally says it's imported from Poland. Nice, some Dr. Pepper from Poland. Thank you very much, Poland, for a bit of Dr. Pepper. Nothing better than a bit of Dr. Pepper from Poland. So considering that uh, I was able to get myself some Dr. Pepper, you would realize that you could even get yourself some Bud beer and all sorts of drinks through parallel import. And now in the stores, they even sell winter tires. 
so that uh, everybody is prepared for a bit of winter. Studded tires. Now a lot of uh, countries have not allowed studded tires, but in Russia you could get yourself some studded tires. Nothing better than some studded tires. Drift around like a real man. Maybe I need to put carpets like this in a lot of what is flipping heck. That'd be very stylish. Holy macaroni, that's a lot of cheese. Anyways, Evelyn need, needs to buy a bone. What is American sandwich? Harry's. What's going on, guys? What is going on? Russia and American stuff. You know, a lot of people get surprised, but uh, you know, Russian people do like a lot of American stuff. Like me, I like Dr. Pepper and American cars and American movies and American burgers and American. Okay, let's just stop with this. Now I know some people get a kick out of uh, walking to grocery stores and you know buying stuff. I don't really. I get more of a kick on uh, you know walking and getting car parts and stuff like that. Look, more alcohol. What is this alcohol propaganda here? Unbelievable. Check this out, guys. Look at this, Dr. Pepper cream soda. Where is this, from Poland? Where did it come from? Uh, oh, this is straight out from USA. Anyways, look at a bunch of Dr. Peppers here. You got your Coca-Colas from all over the place. Wow, where is this Coca-Cola from? I wonder, where is it from? England. Some English cola. Could you imagine that? A bit of English Coke. Flipping heck. Cola out Martin. Very nice. Look at Evelina. Damn. Very nice. My dear, you, you could get all sorts of stuff here. All sorts of stuff right here. You could get yourself some chips. You could get yourself some lemonade. Very nice. Well, guys, since the weather is horrible today, um, we have this big problem with the ladder. Basically what happens is there is a exhaust leak in the exhaust pipe. So when you uh, turn on the heater, all the exhaust goes inside of the interior when it just stands. So it's cold, smells really bad. And I'm pretty sure that stuff is bad for your brain. So we're gonna go buy a whole exhaust pipe system. It costs around 25 bucks or 30 bucks. And we're gonna put it on today to get that ladder ready for a bit of winter drifting, if you know what I'm talking about. So today we're gonna go to a shop called Afterus. I showed it to you in um, many occasions. So we're gonna go there again, because that is the closest one that's open until 10 o'clock. So let's get hurried up. Edward is apparently already by the gate waiting for us. So let's get going. If you still have not liked the video, or subscribe you might as well do it because first of all we have videos about Lada, about Russia and about cats look at Pachinka chilling out what a good cat well we got Edward in the vlog today and I have no idea what the heck this is oh I know what this is brake fluid it's coming from this thing over here well, we have arrived over to the shop that says all, sells all the ladder parts right here. So let's buy some parts for the ladder. I might even get a suspension part because we need to make the back of the car even stiffer so it can go sideways better. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff you could buy here. Look at it, love this store. Buy rims, anything you need, anything. Oh damn, look at this guys, tool sets, those look awesome, this is the one I have but I don't have half of it, no I have the better one, the bigger one, I don't know, but look at this, holy macro, $263, wow, <laughs> flipping awesome, that's a one heck of a big set, oh, purchased what I need, now I need to give one part over, to the person who's gonna give me the parts. I don't know which one. Now we just wait with Edward for a part to arrive for the ladder. And then we're gonna go back home, assemble it, and let's hope that uh, 
it's not gonna smell like a hellhole like it did before. Yes. For some reason today it's taking them absolutely ages to uh, bring out the parts. No idea why, but uh, I need my pipes and we need to put it on the ladder already and then test it out and see if it's uh, gonna be working. It's not gonna smell like exhaust inside of the car because it's horrible. Like your eyes start to water, pretty sure you could die from it. Where's my exhaust? So we got our exhaust port. We got Edward with his exhaust port. Here's me with an exhaust port. Flipping huge. <laughs> God, playing games here. Playing flipping games. Guess where we are again? We're at a gas station, and guess what Edward is getting? He's getting a hot dog once again. Edward is getting his favorite meal. We got him. Покажи. Покажи. Достань. Edward. Oh my god. Try. Try hot dog. Yes. No, we don't eat hot dog here. Nothing better than an old sausage in the evening. Yes! No. So guys, got the parts here, got the ladder. Let's put those new parts on so that we don't smell like exhaust fumes and die from suffocation. Let's get everything out of the Cadillac. A lot of people are saying it's dirty here. Completely agree with you guys. Completely agree with you. Anyways, so we can get going. Here we are working on the ladder. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 Oh, they're nice. Ooh. Ooh. So guys, this was a normal pipe before, but it was broken. And this is what was one of the causes of the smell so for now i did a quick fix like this just a bit of tape around the place this should hold the smell in a little bit and then i'll buy a new one but right now we need to get rid of the smell so now i need to find a part how i can hold it up edward meanwhile is removing the exhaust right now very nice well you can't go on without a bit of redneck engineering and you know what this matches the color of the car. I think a bit of tape should hold in the gases quite well. So anyways, but it's like a dollar for that pipe. It just, uh, I'll need to get a new one a bit later. But for now, this will be good enough. Oh, oh. So we've disconnected the exhaust. This is croissant. Croissant exhaust, look at it. Very nice. Okay, now we need to get this part out. There we go. Now look at this stuff. Ooh, this is very not good. And here, oh, this is forest metal. Ah. Uh. <laughs> good metal good metal anyways let's put the new one in time to put the new one in oh what? Ah, держи, we need the thingy i will faster faster i'm sorry <laughs> wait a minute check me Как она? Вот так. Вот 
Well, Edward had to go, and uh, we forgot to put on one part that I want to check out. Which one did we forget to put? It was, uh, and it was uh, this part right here, and uh, it's supposed to be holding to the gearbox, and it is held. I have no idea where. I want to check out where. But this doesn't feel safe, so I'm going to put second thing right here, just in case. And I'm gonna put uh, this in here just in case so the car doesn't fall over me, which uh, would be quite painful. Well, now is the moment of truth. Is it gonna smell bad inside after we start it up? Now, that's a big question that I'm meaning to have. So let's flip and hope it doesn't smell. So I'm gonna start up the car right now, turn on the heater and see if it smells. Well, you know what? I got some good news. I finished off the ladder and it doesn't smell like exhaust inside, which is flipping awesome. Big, great success. Well, you know what, guys? It seems like I have did a good job with Edward. Now uh, the car is finished and it's flipping ready for winter, basically. All we need to do is uh, change the tires with the rims and, uh, and that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate it. Love every single one of you. If you still have not subscribed, please subscribe, like, and comment in the comment section, in the comment section below. See ya later. Love every single one of you.